This is JB's Baseball Cards, here today with a mega box, or a monster box, whatever they call it, of the new 2021 Topps Gallery Baseball. Um, I saw this at a, at a Walmart and uh, hadn't seen one before, hadn't seen them uh, anywhere, even on videos or anything, so hopefully this is a new product to you. Um, I like it every year. Topps Gallery has um, artists' rendition of the different baseball players. Um, so this is a pretty cool product. In a mega box, you get 100 total cards, 20 packs of five cards each, and two autographs are guaranteed. In the past, they've usually been uh, sticker autos of rookie uh, rookie cards, but uh, you can get some good ones too, I'm sure. I never got a huge one before. That's what the back of the box looks like. Um, I'm sure it's hard to get a cool, really good, cool one. I do like that little insert there. It looks like a Kimi Jr. So usually they use uh, like four or five artists maybe, and each one of them splits it up. I think in the past they've done 150 card base sets and then 50 short prints maybe. I'm using a new setup here with a different tripod. I'm standing instead of sitting here at the table, so let me know how, how you like it. Um, I think it's a little easier on me at least. So There's the pack. Jacob DeGrom is the cover athlete. Let's see what we can get here. Hopefully you get at least one decent auto. Casey Mize would be a good one. It's on the back there. Got a cool looking Daniel Lynch. I do like the design this year with the gold border around there. Very nice. That's a very nice drawing there. Very lifelike. Daniel Lynch rookie. Paul Goldschmidt. Shohei Otani, MLB Originals. It's not numbered. Matt Olson And Casey Mize. So they can be landscape as well. These are too good. I don't, I don't think they're drawings this year. Some of them just look too good to be a uh, drawing. I don't know. You let me know if I got that wrong, but usually it'd say who the artist is on the back, but I do not see that this year. Usually it'd say at the bottom of the card, so I'm guessing they did not have artists draw these. They might have like an insert set where they had artists drawing, but not every single card, I don't think. Davey Garcia, Steven Strasburg, that's a cool card, Ryan Sandberg foil, cool for me as a Cubs fan, let's see if that's numbered, that is not numbered, so probably just a common parallel there, Kevin Gosman, and Jesus Sanchez rookie, those rookie card logos really pop on the cards, being in gold foil. Filming this just before Christmas. Hope everyone has a good Christmas. There's a good Jared Kellnick card. Happy New Year. There's Gavin Lux. Both of these guys are from the same area in Wisconsin, if you didn't know. Okay, here's my first auto, Laoti Tavares. They are usually sticker, like I said, and not the best name, but definitely not the worst either. It's a cool looking card. Laoti Tavares rookie, Brandon Lau, and Spencer Howard. So, got a few good rookies so far. I don't know much about Tavares. I know my cousin Bob's got a few of his autos. So, let me know if he had a good rookie year or not. If you know. It's nice Alec Manoa. Adolis Garcia. Another Ranger. Masters of the Craft. Miguel Cabrera. So, I'm guessing the inserts are uh, painted by artists. If it says art by Kevin Graham, he's a common... Uh, contributor to these pr products for Tops and Logan Gilbert. Sam Huff there on the back. Pavin Smith. I'm getting a ton of rookies. I'd say Kellenick's my best so far. Garrett Cole. Here's a foil of Anthony Rizzo. That's a cool one. So one former Cub and one. Um, Legendary Cub with the Ryan Sandberg. There's Arias and Sam Huff. All right, Nolan Ryan. So this might be a short print. Usually the cards I think numbered 151 to 200 are short prints, and it's not. But I thought the legendary players might be. There is Marcus Stroman who just signed a contract with the Cubs. Randy Rosarena, Christian Pache, and a Giancarlo Stanton. Sorry about that. Storage was full on my phone. 
But uh, I think I was talking about um, in the past what the inserts or the short prints said. It was like masters for the retired players. I don't know what it said for rookies and artisans for like the star players who've been around for a while. There's Munson, Kershaw. There's a Votto foil card. Ozzie Smith. And Francisco Lindor. So I got a Rayoti Tavares auto so far. I've not got a parallel yet besides the foils. There's Barry Larkin. Sonny Gray. There's a Kevin Gossman. I'm guessing that might be a foil parallel that might be numbered. Yep, numbered 11 out of 50. So that's pretty cool. He had a good season for the Giants. Mariano Rivera and Albert Pujols. I think might be retiring. I don't know. You probably won't have a lot of uh, teams that are interested unless both leagues go to DH, which I hope doesn't happen. Chipper Jones. Shohei Otani, who had a big season, MVP in the American League. Modern artist, Aaron Judge. Yes, and that's another art by Josh Trout. Another one of the insert sets that is uh, painted. There's David Wright and Jose Altuve. Uh, this pack will be halfway through the box. Ty Cobb. It's cool they're mixing in the... Uh, Hall of Famers, Shane Bieber, foil of Ernie Banks, so I'm doing really well on the foils with Cubs players and former Cubs players and Rizzo there, Kirby Puckett, and Miguel Cabrera. Yeah, not much going on in the uh, world of baseball with the league shutting down, so I don't really know if any deals or trades that are going to happen once they actually come together on a deal. It's Randy Johnson, Manny, and a hobby buy. That's cool. I like that one being a Cubs fan, even though he's he did sign with the Tigers before the, the lockout or shut down, whatever they're calling it. Josh Donaldson. William Contreras, Wilson Contreras' younger brother, Cal Ripken Jr. foil. I don't know if these foils are just all the best players, but I am getting a lot of good ones. A couple Hall of Famers and a Rizzo there. Hank Aaron and John Means. So this was $79.98. They have not increased the price on it. Um, I've been getting these for a couple years, and I, don't, I think it's been that price the whole time. I did not see any blasters, so I'm not, I'm not sure if they're doing those this year, but I, I would guess they probably are. There's Matt Chapman, Jazz Chisholm, that's a good one. Next wave insert of Fernando Tatis Jr. That one does not look like hand painted. Nice Nick Madrigal for the Cubs. Nice that they got the jersey updated and JT Real Muto. Madrigal and Nico Horner are probably going to be the double play combo, which is good on the offensive side because they actually make contact and like the Cubs, most of the last couple years, they strike out a lot. There's Molina, Ryan Weathers. There's my second auto, Kyle Finnegan, rookie card. It's pretty cool. I haven't heard much about him. So, probably just a pretty common auto, but it's a cool one. Tarek Scooball and Mitch Hanniger. So, none of the top rookies. At least I know. You never know what these guys could turn into for the autograph. Hopefully I can get a nice parallel of another top rookie or something. It's Kyle Tucker, Luis Garcia, Kevin Biggio, Alex Kirloff. That's a good rookie. And Hyun Jin Ryu. Probably won't be a product I open a lot of, especially with heat. I'm not exactly sure what the base set is, but I don't think it's very big. So you could get a lot of dupes if you open a lot. Luis Patino, Kyle Lewis, Jesse Winker. So I got a couple Reds and a couple Cubs now. Joey Bart rookie, and Jordan Alvarez. We got about four packs left to go here. 
Let me know if you've gotten any of this and um, hit any good cards out of it. There's Willie Mays. Brandon Woodruff. There's MLB Originals of Yogi Berra. That's cool. Kohei Arihara. I hit his autograph in Topps Chrome Black. So I was not too thrilled about that one. I am getting a lot of the good base cards and um, inserts, so I'm happy with that. There's Yogi Berra, Cody Bellinger, Yadi Molina. This is a private issue, which that's going to be numbered. Yep, 103 or 183 out of 250. Nice Mike Trout base card. And Juan Soto. So that parallel was a pretty good one. For me as a Cubs fan, not a big fan of Molina. Well, he's definitely going to be a, a future Hall of Famer. Daryl Strawberry. Carlos Correa. There's a J.D. Martinez foil. Kill Badu. And Buster Posey. Definitely in a lot of the top rookies, which isn't that surprising because a lot of the checklist is going to be rookies with, I'm guessing it's not more than 200 cards. Pedro Martinez, Chris Bryant, Greg Maddox, Will Clark, and my last card is Corbin Burns, who won the Cy Young this year. So I'll do a quick little recap here of what the big cards were. Got a Ciotti Armelina private issue, numbered out of 250. That Gosman, I don't know exactly what that parallel is called, but probably some shimmer, numbered out of 50. Got a bunch of good foils, especially as a Cubs fan. Got Martinez there, Winker, Nick Madrigal, base card, Cal Ripken Jr. foil, is that Javi, Ernie Banks, and Rizzo foils. And also got this Ryan Sandberg and the Votto. And then my two autos were Kyle Finnegan and Laoti Tavares. So I'm with my cousin Bob on this one. Got a Laoti Tavares, he has two already, so it's my first one of him. So happy I didn't get a duplicate of someone I already had. So in terms of just rookie autos in general for this 2021 20, season. Well, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of this product, if it's a good value. I think it's all right. I wouldn't buy too much of it, but um, I enjoy opening it every year, and I think it was a fun rip this year. Thanks again for watching. Hope you're having a good day. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.